what's up guys welcome back to another quick um five minute or however long it lasts review should be fairly quick anyway i thought today i would do a little review on the 24a artist past artistry palette by morphe and sawiti i think it was wasn't it i think it was yeah um yeah this i've done three looks i think with this palette now um did one very recently actually um i was absolutely obsessed when, with getting it when i saw the inside yeah i literally only wanted it because of this one shade um which is stupid but i did talk about this briefly in my eyeshadow palette collection video um but since using it again i thought i'd do a little review on it properly um when you just look at it it's beautiful like especially that i keep going on about it um these big pans are really really pretty and these glitters are also really stunning i haven't actually used this on the eye yet i've only ever swatched them well i've used that one up there with the first heart look i did which is my first little video on youtube um i will say it's um I don't know, they feel, when I used it the other day, um, in my last Morphe video, when I used it, I don't know when this will be uploaded, but whatever, um, yeah, I did find it really difficult, like, that in itself, that shadow is really difficult to use and work with, um, and the quality doesn't feel the best in these, sh like, shadows, I feel like you have to kind of build it up a lot to get the best sort of colour payoff from it, um, I don't know whether it's because they're so, like, no, they feel quite hard pressed in the pan, but um, like they swatches are always really nice when I try and swatch this, but um, and they're really pretty, but I don't know, I don't really know, I can't, I'm really bad at explaining myself, but um, this shadow, like as pretty as it is, which is the whole reason why I bought it, it's so hard to work with because the shadow, like the really pretty duochrome shadow is mixed in with a thousand stars and it's like this crushed formula i'll see if i can like get a bit on my nail so you can see it's like let's see if i can get my camera to focus it's like this crushed ice formula like yeah it's literally just a sugar-like consistency with stars just stuck in it so when you're trying to put that on your eye you're trying to you know get this color everywhere but you're stuck with all these stars in the way and they just get everywhere it's like realistically it would have been and there's not actually that much shadow either like i can see the i could see the bottom of the pan like within the first swatch i did when i first got the palette so that was a bit disappointing and um yeah it's just the colour is so nice, it's just such a bitch to work with that it kind of dulls the excitement and it's like, oh, because like that colour is so nice but you struggle to get anywhere with it because of the consistency and the stars all in the way. It's like realistically I thought it would have been better maybe if they did like the shadow with just like the colour and then like, I don't know, put the the stars in a pot in the box or something like it's and send you them separately so you can like add them but i suppose that kind of isn't what they were going for is it um people probably wouldn't have bought it if the stars weren't in there to begin with but yeah um it is really pretty it's just really difficult to work with um and i did use the yellow um doesn't come out as pigmented as it looks like it's so bright and neon but on the eye it doesn't come out as bright as you'd think it would um the purple as well um yeah that's a little bit difficult to work with um yeah they're just a little bit hard to blend and yeah i keep saying it just they're not as easy to work with they're not as pleasurable to work with should i say as other palettes that i own um you know even like the love to heaty be perfect all the car all the carnival palettes well i've only got the carnival two and carnival three but you know that um 
quality is far superior I think in my eyes um, and I think maybe with other Morphe palettes I've got they are superior than this so I don't really know um, I mean these glitters are absolutely beautiful I mean the glitters are so pretty I think I might you know use this palette just for them you know maybe for some spotlight looks just to glam up some looks a little bit more maybe because you know it'd be rude not to use something that's this pretty um I'll do this one as well and they swatch better than other glitters in other palettes they are extremely beautiful but, you know there's so many different colors in all of them that just like that one with all the blue in it and that one's got like some orangey in it it's all just so pretty but then when you try and wipe it off you get kind of left left with that so do 10 out of 10 do not recommend swatching them all in one go and then rubbing them off um but yeah i just thought it's so pretty but so underwhelming at the same time and i think that's the worst thing that happens when you get a palette that looks so gorgeous like this and then it's underwhelming and yeah that's like the worst thing that can happen with makeup is being excited and then when you play with it it's a bit of a letdown um like this shade is gorgeous i mean look at that with the light hitting on it it's ridiculous it's probably the best shade out of the whole thing to be honest that purple as well like these are just amazing that one is just like chef's kiss you know but um yeah i do i do like it it's just i didn't i don't like it as much as i thought i would and that's always something that's like oh, a bit meh about makeup when you buy it because you always want to love something as much like as much as possible but um yeah i'd say out of 10 this palette is probably like a six purely for like these shades like this shade and the glitters purely because that was like the biggest letdown because of how pretty it is and then how hard it is to work with it's just like makes you want to cry really <laughs> but um but yeah genuinely um probably yeah like six out of ten i'd rate that six out of ten well thank you for listening um that's my opinions on it anyway obviously these are my opinions if you've got a different opinion then i'd love to hear it you gotta let me know if you have this palette um and what you think of it or if you don't have it like what do you think of it upon seeing it um you know what would your expectations be from a morphe palette so to say so to speak but yeah um if you enjoyed these this little quick review then let me down by giving me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then if you could also like and follow my other social media which is an instagram a facebook and a twitter then i would be very happy and grateful and yeah i'll thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one okay bye